Namaste students. In this video, we are going to learn some of the definitions in geometry. First one, circle. A circle is a closed figure in a plane, all points of which are always the same distance from fixed point. The fixed point is called as a center of a circle. As you can see in this definition, there are few points we have to remember. First is a circle is a closed figure in a single plane. All the points always lies in the same distance from a fixed point. So that meaning is if we take this will be a circle. We have to consider a one fixed point. From this point if you take any point on the circle if i take uh, this point at an here if i join this point to the center or a fixed point this distance as well as any point either you take here and join this one to the again to the same fixed point or you take this one and join this one to the fixed point as you can see here from any point on the circle the distance between this fixed point and the point on the circle is remains the same this is also same this is also same this distance is also same even this distance is also same so such kind of a close figure will be called as the circle now this fixed point which is there inside the circle will be called as center of a circle now next radius the distance between the center and any point on a circle is called its radius so distance between or the line segment which joins center and any point on the circle if we join like this this distance will be called as a radius or the line segment which joins the center and any one of the point will be called as radius of a circle now next we will take chord chord is the line segment whose end points lie on a circle so here is the example of a chord as you can see in this chord end points of a chord lies on the circle this also lies on the circle this end point also lies on the circle such kinds of a line segments will be called as chord of a circle now next we have a diameter diameter is a line segment passing through the center whose end points lies on a circle is called a diameter of a circle which means the line segment which has to pass through this center as well as end point should lie on the circle. So here is the example I took. As you can see in this dark line segment, the line segment passing through the center as well as its end point lies on the circle. So such kinds of a line segment will be called as diameter. So in this, this chord and diameter have a same property. One extra property will be there or one extra condition is there to diameter that it has to pass through the center. So whenever a chord passes through the center, we will call that chord also as a diameter. So now we will take a next one some of the relationship between radius and diameter. So you have to remember these two points. Diameter is equals to two times the radius. And next radius is equals to half of the diameter. As you can see in this diagram from here to here we will call this one as radius. Again from here to here we will call this one as the radius. So you can see here there are two radius which forms the diameter so because of that we will say diameter is equals to two times the radius and radius is equals to 
half of the diameter or diameter divided by 2. So next definition is arc. So arc meaning is part of a circle is called an arc. So as you can see here, here is a circle. If I take any one part of this or this part is also called as an arc or we can take from here to here as a part of this circle. So this part will be called as the arc. So here ACB is a arc. And next semi circle. The meaning of a semi is half. So because of that it will be defined as half of a circle is a semi circle. So here you can see here the line segment PQ divides this circle into exactly two parts or the line segment which passing through the center and lies on the circle is called as diameter. So always diameter divides the circle into two semicircles. So here PQ is the diameter. It divides this circle into two half circles. So these half circles will be called as semicircle. Let us take some of the problems on this definitions. Name the radii and diameter of a circles in the given figure. Here is the given circle along with some of the line segments are there inside this circle. We have to identify the radius as well as diameters. So as you can see in this, we have to know that the line segment which joins the center and any one of the point on the circle will be called as radius. So here from the center there are four line segments went or pass through the center. So these four circles all the point lies on the circle. These line segments end points lies on the circle. So because of that we will say these all the line segment 1, 2, 3 and 4 will be called as the radius. So that only I am writing radius are OP because this OP one end point lies on the circle another lies on the center. So because of that OP is the radius. Next one is OB even this OB O at center B on circle. Same way OQ O is in center Q on circle. So because of that OQ line segment is a radius. And last OA in this OA the end points of this line segment A lies on the circle and O lies on the center of a circle. Because of that OA is also a radius. Now next diameter. So first one is PQ. It should follow the two conditions. First one it has to pass through the center. As you can see here this P and Q passes through the center and end points of PQ should lies on the circle. Here both the end points lies on the circle because of that this PQ is called as the diameter. And next there is one more line segment which is passing through the center as well as end points on the circle. That line segment is A to O and O to B. But we have to write only end points. If I write end points at end here, it will become AB. So AB is the line segment whose both the end points lies on the circle and it passes through the center. So because of that, AB is the diameter. Let us take some of the problems to identify the cots. Here is a diagram. Using this diagram, we have to identify the cots. Definition of a cord is line segment whose end, whose end point should lies on the circle. Here are so many line segment, but AB is the one line segment whose end points lies on the circle. So because of that AB is the first chord. And if I take OA here one point is on circle 
another endpoint on the center so because of that it is not a chord same way ob also o is at center b is on circle so because of that it is also not a chord now i will go to the bc this bc both the endpoints lies on the circle bc is a chord and next same way cd is also chord because d and c lies on the circle and last da d also lies on the circle a also lies on the circle because of that this ad line segment is also called as a chord so this way we will identify the radius diameter and chord of a circle